Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're popping in, hello, so glad that you found me. Hope that you'll consider sticking around because we are talking all things saving money. Yes, as couponers, we find every single way that we can save penny by penny on clearance deals, weekly sales, online shopping, all of that great stuff. But in this video, I'm going to share with you some special tips on how you can save a ton of money at the salon, on your eyeglasses, and on your nails. So I've been getting a ton of requests on hair, nails, even my eyeglasses. Where do I get my eyeglasses from? So I'm gonna share them with you, starting off with hair. So I do not color my own hair. I haven't attempted to color my own hair probably since my 20s and that was not a good time. So for me, I'm not skilled in that. I do highlights. Um, it just did not come out the way as expected and to clean it up actually cost more money than just going to a salon if I wanted to. But what I've been doing for probably the past seven years now is going to a beauty school. Yes, it seems really scary at first and I was definitely, I felt that way when I tried it the first time. Um, I actually, heard this from my sister because she would always get her hair done and I was always like oh your hair looks nice so I felt confident but I was still nervous let me share with you the experience when you go to a beauty school so it's not like you just step in and one of the students just take over and you know Edward scissor hand kind of cuts and, and you're good to go there is a process um, it's a learning process for them and they are they have to get to a certain level before they can actually go out onto the floor and cut customers hair so understand that it's not someone fresh and new who just came to the beauty school and is giving your hair um, a chop chop um, they have to be at a certain level so that is good also during the entire process a supervisor a teacher will walk through with the students so when you actually sit down and have that you know first consultation where you tell them what you're looking for what you want the teacher will be there to hear what you need so that at the end result they can see that you did get exactly what you're looking for now, when I go to a local salon, and I have been to a local salon, it probably hasn't been for a while, but usually my hair for a cut and highlights and a style would be around $120, and that's pre-tip, so um, keep that in mind. That is a lot, but going to the beauty salon, it's $50, so it's a huge difference. Um, and I feel like the end result is definitely worth the savings and I've been doing that for a while now. Unfortunately, our local beauty salon that I have always been going to shut down because of COVID, but completely closed, not just like shut down temporarily, they are closed out. So I'm in the process of searching for a new beauty school, but there's actually more than you'd think. So check online and do a search in your area and give them a try. Another tip for saving money on hair is every time that I would be done with my haircut and you go up to pay, they would want to set an appointment. So they'd say, okay, we're going to set an appointment for eight weeks. I never go back to the salon in eight weeks. I have never done that. So typically, if you're going to be going around eight to 12 weeks, you're going to be hitting the salon about four times per year. Even if you just cut one of those visits, you're saving a lot of money. So keep that in mind. Try and space it out. Things that I do, and really right now this summer has been so humid that I've been wearing my hair up a lot. So that has helped. And it's completely grown out. This is actually like, I'm going on five months here since my last haircut. So it is definitely getting stretched out. Usually I'll do two to three salon visits per year and that is it. Um, I'm kind of getting off my schedule because normally my next visit would be closer to the holidays and we're quite a bit away from that. But try and stretch it out. You know, cutting just one salon visit per year can save you a lot of money. When you go to the salon, don't be afraid to speak up. Don't be afraid to have your voice heard. One thing that you can do to save a lot of money too is not to have your hair styled. Um, I've had it where sometimes I sit and have them style it and go through all of that and blow dry it and blow dry it out and volumize it and then put the hot iron and I just didn't like it anyway. And then I would go home, you know, and want to restyle it on my own. 
definitely a lot of salons do charge for that style because it does take quite a bit of time. So if you don't want your hair styled, let your stylist know before so that they can get, you know, give you an estimate of how much it will save you versus having that style done. Now, one really important thing if you don't want to be in the salon a lot is to get a low maintenance haircut. Let me give you an example of a not low maintenance haircut that I had. I had the haircut where it's really short in the back and then the front, like the, the bangs were probably the length that they are here, maybe a little bit longer and structured in your face and they were kind of layered up. It's, it's a really cute hairdo, but it is a very high maintenance haircut hairdo because once it starts to grow out it starts looking a little bit choppy um, unless you're going to completely let it grow out and try and keep it back and do different things with it but if you want to keep that style you definitely need to get into the salon every eight weeks for that trim at least to keep the cut up to speed so keep that in mind go with something that's versatile I always like that I, you know, I'm able to wear my hair down. I'm able to curl it. I'm able to put it up. I can put it on a side, kind of like pony, and you know, just have fun with it. And that way, especially when my hair is up, I don't feel that it shows so much of the like I need a haircut look or I need a color look so much. So finding a style that's versatile and low maintenance is your best key. So now we are moving into one of my favorite favorite accessories and it is eyeglasses. So I have prescription eyeglasses. I have to wear eyeglasses all the time or contacts. It's not an option or I'll be running into things. So it's really important for me, especially I love eyeglasses versus, you know, contacts every day. There's just so much variety and so much fun in wearing eyeglasses. The styles are like beyond anything now that you see. You can get squared ones, you can get cat eye, you can get trendy colors, you can get bright colors. And honestly, when growing up, I can remember going to Sears Optical having that one little section at the front that I could pick one pair of eyeglasses and freaking out. I can remember, I think it was sixth grade when my eyeglasses cracked and having to wait a couple of weeks to get a new pair. So it's not like that anymore. I want to thank Payne Glasses for sponsoring this video and I want to share with them to you guys, my followers, because a lot of you will ask about my eyeglasses, where do I get eyeglasses, all of that kind of good stuff. And one thing that I look for is trendy and affordable and that is what Payne offers. Now the frames that I'm wearing right now are the Hellpin Square frames. They are awesome. They allow me to accessorize, especially with like a shirt like this versus my regular. You guys know my rectangular black glasses are always my go-to glasses, but it allows me to accessorize with different outfits. Now this pair of eyeglasses was less than $36. Yes, these are prescription and I have a strong prescription. They're anti-scratch, they're anti-reflective. They come with an amazing, cute little um, case that you can keep them in and a cloth for cleaning. And that is how affordable pain is. Now, these are the Zen Square glasses. Normally, this wouldn't be my go-to type of glasses. Sometimes I feel like they're too big, too large, but that is the thing. That is the fun thing is I can grab a pair of glasses like this at a reasonable price and you know have them for just accessorizing with my outfits for fun, for Sunday reading, for watching TV, and they won't break the bank. And then these cuties here are the Roma cat frames. How fun are these? Now frames start as low as $5.95. So cheap, so reasonable, so affordable, especially for the kids for back to school. I remember being young, it was hard having glasses, but nowadays it's completely different. You can make it a fun experience for them and easily affordable to get a couple of different frames. And yes, these are the time rectangle glasses. So these are my typical, you know, standard go-to glasses, but they are so amazing. And the fun thing is, is when you are shopping online for these glasses, there's a virtual try-on. So you can actually virtually try them on before you purchase them. And all that you need, guys, is your prescription. So you can go to your regular optometrist, have your eyes checked, ask them for a written prescription, and you can take that and enter that online and shop for fun glasses glasses at pain. 
And even on top of that, Payne is offering my subscribers a discount in the description box below. So check that out, check them out. I got these four pairs of glasses for literally the price of one glasses if I would have went to my regular eye doctor and purchased them. So amazing, super easy. If you need your glasses quick, they do offer a fast shipping option. So definitely give pain glasses a try. I will link their information in the description box below. And don't forget about that discount code that is amazing savings on top of already affordable and trendy glasses. All right, and aside from glasses, I love nail polish. You guys know that nail polish is one of my favorite things. Now, this may seem like, you know, the good old tip to do your nails at home, but that is what is gonna save you a lot of money. Even if you go to the salon on the regular, and I don't know, I would think maybe like every two weeks if you go, that would be twice a month, and nails are super expensive to get done. It's really, it's great to do and it's you know exciting but it's very expensive too what else is exciting is doing your nails at home and saving all of that money now there are so many options for nails now we're talking you have gel nails you know that you can use there's so many different levels of nail polishes there's so many great products as far as base coat so if your nails are a little troubled maybe they're a little rigid uneven definitely invest in a base coat. The one that I use is Paparazzi and I've been using it since we've been stocking up on deals through couponing and it is my ultimate favorite base coat. It gives a nice, clean, smooth surface for you to apply your nail polish. Um, and definitely invest in a great fast dry. A really economical fast dry is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry. It's affordable. It's anywhere from like $4.49 to $5, depending on your local store. And it's just a really good product and it tops off your nail polish perfectly. And even if you still wanna to go to the salon and you wanna take advantage of getting your nails done, try to decrease that amount. Whether you do it you know, once a month, maybe you do it twice a month now and you're gonna resort down to once a month. That's gonna be huge savings right there. Or maybe you figure you'll keep it for you know special occasions a couple times throughout the year. Maybe the holidays you want something fancy going on or your birthday for a treat yourself type gift that is completely fine. But between nails and toes, there are just so many products at home that we can use to maintenance. So definitely regular maintenance is important. Keeping up with your nails, working on your cuticles. Um, if you're not applying nail polish, maybe putting on a nail strengthener if your nails are weak. All nails are different, so you need to find what works for you. One thing that I recommend is just investing in maybe three or four nail polishes. And I'm talking for the entire year, really how much nail polish I use. I always typically have my nails painted and still I don't even know the only nail polishes that I've truly finished are the base and top coat. But as far as my colors, I've never really finished a whole bottle of nail polish unless it's gone bad and I've actually had to throw it away. So investing in three to four. Um, and there are some great brands out there. Essie is a great brand, OPI. A lot of you may be saying, oh, those are super expensive. You don't have to go that route. But I do find versus, um, you know, like a Wet n Wild or a cheaper brand that they definitely do have a longer lasting effect. And in my opinion, that's kind of worth it just to buy a couple rather than to have a whole bunch. And I have a whole bunch of nail polish, but when it comes down to it, I have my go-to. So I go through season by season, what colors do I typically want? I always love a great pink. Um, a light pink, which can be worn year long. I mean, it can honestly be a year long thing. White is a great color too, because you can wear it any season as well. Um, and then if you want your darker shades, maybe for the holidays, you know, you can go ahead and grab a couple of polishes to start your collection. And again, longevity of your nails is important. So always start with a base coat. Always do, well, this is what I do. I use the base coat, one layer, two layers of nail polish and one layer of a good, I always go for an Insta dry because I'm not one to kind of sit around and wait for my nails to dry. And honestly, that Sally Hansen Insta dry is the best product in my opinion. 
And if you are stuck on salon nails and you wanna keep going to the salon, one recommendation that I can give you is check Groupon. There are always so many offers for salons, not only just nails, but even hair salons for huge savings. Um, and you can go ahead and utilize those savings when you're getting your beauty treatments done. All right, my friends, so just a couple of beauty tips that I use, and in no way, shape, or form am I a beauty guru. I am 40, gonna be 44 years old. Um, I'm a mom, I'm on the go, but I do like to try and do some things for myself occasionally and on a budget, because I'm here to save money and I know that's why a lot of you guys are here as well. So hopefully you'll find one tip that you might incorporate to help you save some money on your beauty regimen for hair, eyeglasses, or nails. So I wanna thank you guys for watching this video and definitely thank you to Pain Glasses for sponsoring I'm telling you guys, total game changer. It makes eyeglasses so affordable. I can remember from my parents how they dreaded taking us to the eyeglasses, to get eyeglasses because they knew it was gonna be a lot of money. And nowadays it's just so affordable. So if you have kids, again, make the experience fun and it's affordable. What else can we ask for, right? So definitely check out that discount code in the description box below and head to their website. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.